Welcome to the CMOS Farming Training Video. In this video, we will review sanitation and hygiene practices. The issue of sanitation and hygiene practices can be discussed from three perspectives. One, harvest and post-harvest handling. Two, environmental stewardship. And three, personal hygiene. In the area of harvest and post-harvest handling practices, all equipment, tools, and materials used during harvest and post-harvest should be kept clean and free from contaminants. Bags used during the process of sun bleaching and drying should be washed before and after use with clean water. When not in use, they should be stored securely away from pests and contaminants. All items used for storage of sea moss, such as bags, buckets, and other receptacles should also be kept clean and free from pests and contaminants. During the process of sun bleaching and drying, tables, racks, and any other platforms should be raised at least two feet off the ground. Sea moss should not be sun bleached or dried at ground level. Sea moss should also be kept covered to prevent contamination and access to animals, including pets, rodents, chickens, birds, cats, dogs, etc. In the context of environmental stewardship, farmers should not dispose of garbage indiscriminately and materials used in CMOS farming that are no longer in use should be taken to shore and disposed of appropriately. There should be no use of empty bottles from agrochemicals or other substances as part of the farming practices. In terms of personal sanitation and hygiene, farmers should maintain good hygiene at all times. If someone is not feeling well, they should not engage in CMOS farming, especially post-harvesting practices such as sun bleaching and drying.